Hey Siri, what's the date today? It's Tuesday, the 26th of December, 2023. I'm taking all Christmas down. Bob, Santa wants his tree and his presents back. Meatball has two Christmas trees. I'm in the middle of that stalled U-Haul project because I always work a lot between October and, and December, but I was very excited that when January comes, I get to return to it. This area was monopolized by the RV, refrigerator, the solar, and I, to put Meeple's Christmas tree up, I put everything in the other room. I cleaned this area up. I pulled the curtain back. I have what they call a chimney leak dry. I can put my finger through here. This is all water damage all the way down. It's called a chimney leak. <sighs> this side, not so. This probably happened in the summer and I have had a pretty darn good life for this past five months, not knowing about it. So you know what I did? Doo -doo 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 -doo. Just turned, just turned off the brain and closed it back up. But I made a promise that when Mr. Meatball opened up his last gift, the Grinch was taking everything out of here and it's now that moment. everything down so fast right after Christmas. It actually is Christmas, but I'm gonna take down this curtain. I can't do the corner. My skill set won't allow that. So when I expose this, I'm gonna learn a lot more what's behind it. I'm pretty sure that the substandard work I had during renovation, I don't think there's flashing at the chimney. What's more revealing is that had to pass a quality inspection of the county and city. So we need a crowbar. We need a drill. We need a multi-tool pencil. All right, let's go. Once I expose this, it has to dry. Um, also, I will tell you that this is going to be a new series. There is no way that this is all gonna fit in one video. Let's see if I can fix it in two. You know the gift of this house has been, oh, there's been many. The gift is, it has revealed something about me that I didn't know the level of, and that is I am fearless. There was a day that I would never think about repairing my own chimney leak. Once I got past the surprise, is it means I'm not paralyzed with anxiety that I cannot move forward regardless. In fact, it's the anxiety that is my excitement to meet the challenge. When did that happen? Treat this. Um, so I might be able to salvage this wood. The takeaway is this might be new to me. This has been going on, possibly not even just this summer. 
Okay. I'm gonna treat everything exposed and then everything needs to dry. I'm gonna take expanding foam and fill these areas that should have been done regardless. This will not be a complete job video. To be continued. This doesn't look good. This, this doesn't look good. This doesn't look good. This doesn't look good. This doesn't look good. And hey, professionals, there should not be this exposed crack. There shouldn't be an exposed crack. In fact, I take my fingers in here and I can feel moisture from when it rained the other day. This should be sealed. You know when I had the home built, there was no way I could have come up here and go, hey, I wouldn't know what's right or wrong. But I don't think this is right. So I know they make a lot of different transitional tar sealants that I can actually build this out. Anybody in the business, let me know. This passed an inspection. Quality control. Cajone Bustin quality control. Yeah, I think this is what I think I'm looking at the source of the problem. Here's what we can agree on. Uh, through gifts, either through Meatball or me, I have been given $275 worth of gift cards. Uh, Visa gift cards and Home Depot gift cards. Here's what we can agree on. The number is 275 What I no longer can agree on is the direction that they're going. I thought these were going to the truck, but fortunately, I can now cover the roof, which seems a little more imperative and of the moment. And then for $16. Thank you for shopping at the Home Depot. I feel cold air. If this is all I do, this feels like a good fix already. If it weren't so frustrating, it's actually amazing what was not done here. Okay. The tape is virtually invisible. Uh, when I go down there, if I see that black, I will touch up the paint on the top. Yeah, the tape is pretty well, no, not pretty well, very well concealed. This conclu listen, this concludes part one of this crisis uh, video series. Um, I'm actually very confident of what I've done up here. Now, part two is I'll go down, I'll go below and I'll continue the, the mold treatment, the reconstruction of everything in the drywall and whatever. And so far, I am not accounting for my time, but this is how much this has cost me. And what it's really cost me because for Christmas time, many people were kind to Meatball and me through business or YouTube or even the Instagram who sent me a Home Depot gift card and I appreciate it more now than ever.